this is Robin Bremer, the author of the Kingdom Living series, the Kingdom Living Bible Study Course, and the Pocket Study Guides. And today, I want to share with you how you are dead to the law and you're not led by the law, which is very important because oftentimes people come under guilt, shame, and condemnation, and that uh, breaks down their confidence in God and they don't have the answer to the prayer because the devil uses those things to stop you from receiving from God. Now, you are dead to the law and you're not led by the law. Let's take a, take a look at the first one. You are dead to the law. And that scripture is Romans 7, 4. Therefore, my brethren, you also have become dead to the law. You've become dead to the law through the body of Christ. Okay? Because of the body of Christ and through the body of Christ, you are dead to the law. And why? That's so you may marry another to him so that you may be married to another. In other words, the old covenant is done. In the Old Testament, a will or a testament does not become a will or a testament until the person dies. So Jesus died, and so we're no longer bound by the law. And he wants us to be able to be married to him so that we're led by the Holy Spirit. Okay, let's go on here. To him who was raised from the dead that we would bear fruit to God. Okay, so we are dead to the law through the body of Christ. Here's the second scripture. That's Romans 7, 4. Look it up yourself. The second scripture is uh, Galatians 3, 2, 19 through 21. For I, through the law, died to the law that I might live to God. So you see, um, I'm going to do a series on the law. And, uh, and uh, go over some other things about the law. And explain to you about how we died but to the law but here's another scripture Galatians 2 19 for I through the law died to the law okay through the law died to the law that I might live to Christ okay very important I have been crucified with Christ it is I who know it's it is no longer I who live but Christ who lives in me and the life I live now in the flesh I live by faith okay so right there it's showing you that you're living by faith not by the law the law faith two different things the dispensation uh and the covenant was the law in the old testament the new testament it's living by faith in the son of god who loved me and gave himself for me i whoops i do not set aside the grace of god for if righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died in vain. Okay, in other words, if you're living up here by the law instead of by faith in Christ, you're setting aside the grace of God. Because the grace of God is what makes you righteous. And right here, if you want to live by the law, you go ahead and live by the law. But what's happening is Christ died in vain. I mean, that's some pretty heavy-duty stuff here. Christ died in vain if you're living by the law. Uh, instead of by faith okay so I'm going to do a little series on that so you are dead to the law not led by the law the scriptures that you can look up for that is Romans 7 4 Galatians 2 19 and study them and my name is Robin Bremer and I will talk to you tomorrow I hope this sets you free